As I was going over the Cork and Kerry mountains, I met with Captain Farrell and his money. He was counting. I first produced my pistol and then produced my rapier. Stand and deliver, for you are a bold deceiver. I said, Ooh, and do ram and da. Wait for the daddy o. Wait for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. Hi, friends. Welcome to Sailing Liberty. We're really glad you're back. On the dark side, you always say yes. Hey, you know what? Give it some thought. You can always call back tomorrow and say no. We have some pretty big projects coming on on this boat. Cha-ching. All right, we already got our stuff for the steering, but we got the chain plate project coming up. Pretty big chunk of bronze. Yeah, we're going to do our new chain plates out of bronze. It'll be very interesting. As you well know, it's on the list for the countdown to the voyage. But we got to make some money dockside. So when the opportunities come along, we take them. What have we done so far? We have done oyster loading uh, countless nights. Uh, lots of late night oyster loading. And those bags are not light. They got pretty buff. Yeah. <laughs> we got the first ever oyster loading job. What we have to do is take the oysters from the cooler, carry them to the truck, 60 pound bags. We are in the cooler. And let's see what today is gonna bring. Whoa. Here are the oysters. Tie them up. So they don't from here to there. We loaded the truck, calculated the money, got the check, put it back in the office. <laughs> hey, hey, Hi. All right, he told me he will see you. He blind as a damn go back. It's much better than 91 bags because yesterday I was like... Whoosh. All right, so we're gonna load these suckers up, send them off to the raw bars. They're known for their pesky defense. Try <laughs> <laughs> that one on here. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 60 pounds. So he's got to be responsible for regulations to keep this food fresh and ready to eat. Especially these raw foods. Always has to be prepared on a pallet for cold air to flow underneath. Luxury of sailboat life. Ah, the light. Ooh, baby. It's 12 o'clock at night. And this is gonna be our biggest load yet. We it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be. Oh my god. Almost 100 bags. Wow. Alright, we do six on a layer. Philip left us one bag full of oysters. Look at that. How beautiful. Oh, yes. my chin is dripping. Super delicious. Very salty. Buttery and salty. Do you like it? I like it a lot. Yeah, basically there is a leak in the fridge and now it is totally warm in there. It's no biggie. We're gonna get it fixed after some oyster loading. Yay! Whoa! Yeah. 
Here, Here we, we are. are, making it happen. Some of these dreams come true somewhere. Another day, another oyster. Woo! That's how the oysters get in the raw bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Another, night, another cold night. Gotta sit together. These guys are number one. What a great team. You know, everywhere you go, people are awesome. It's amazing. I love this job. What can I tell you? 6,000 pounds of oysters. Thanks, guys. What about kitten and dog watching? We are doing that too. The any high. chance? Find anything. Yep. <laughs> belly wraps. Pay attention. Belly wraps. And we're finally going to do a sailboat delivery. You think, how am I ever going to get a sailboat delivery? Well, guess what? It happens. Ted is hired as a rigging guy by his old friend Martin, who got himself a Wessel 32. And that boat is no brainer. It's one of the good ones. A great choice for your first boat. And we're going to rig it and we're going to sail it to its new home port. That's our first delivery. Today on Sailing Liberty. Welcome aboard. He's joining the fleet, the Armada, the adventure. Hey, how are you? Dude. Hey, how's it going? Long time. Hello. Hi, Martin. What's going on? Here we are. Here's where we're going to go tomorrow morning and pick up the new boat. And we're going to follow out pretty far. We're going to cross over right around here and join the channel in where there's plenty of 15s and 16s and 12s and cut over and join the channel north of the barge canal, they call this. Okay. And then we'll take this channel back into where we are right now. We're in the middle of a beautiful tropical salt marsh. This marita has what we need to get the boat ready. Are you excited? Are you excited? <laughs> Imagine getting your boat a thousand miles in two days. You don't have to lift a finger. You don't have to do anything with the winds, the tides, or the currents. And hopefully she makes it without a scratch on her. It's $4,000 later, but here comes your boat around the bend. She's looking good. It's a big old truck and that's how she got here. The rudder is amazing. Robin. From where you drove with the boat? Uh, Wharton, Maryland. How long it took to drive? Uh, it to took there? a little over two days. Wow. Yeah. Were you scared to have this big offload or you're driving all the time like no, that? I'm used to it all the time. Our chain plates, if we want to check their uh, condition, you have to open up the boat. With his boat, you can just look at them outside and fix them up if necessary. That furling drum is huge. This is it. Let's hustle to get this truck unloaded. Off come the spars and the furling gear. Get them blocked up and set down. Boat comes off and the clock stops. They put together the bill. <laughs> it's good. Many hands make light work. Uh, just about now your head's gonna be spinning because here comes the travel lift. Yeah, and they're not taking no for an answer. Where do those slings go? No one seems to know. How you know where to put the wraps around? Well, the owner's supposed to know. Uh huh. If they don't know, we guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Super excited. Martin can start uh, enjoying his boat being a captain. Well, they've taken up the slack on the slings. And the truck driver said with relish, no cash, no splash. It's about to begin. All right, this boat is going to be in the water from years to come. Yeah. <laughs> we have a couple of hours before the tide gets high and we can uh, do a little uh, button touch-ups. Interlocks, good. How heavy boat you can uh, race yeah, with that? 35 tons. 35 tons, wow.
But it's the very bottom that you really need to get. Like under. Like totally underneath. Like wide bottom of that thing. Speed log. It's the uh, little paddle wheel that turns to tell you how fast the boat's going through the water. They always get clogged up with barnacles. We'll be lucky if it works. What is it at? It's like five, six, maybe five, seven. What a beautiful sight. The way the bow just blends right into the keel. The prettiest sight I've seen since my sweet Helen. Splash! The star of the show is Martin's new boat, the West Sail 32. Wow. What are you gonna do? Next step, get the radar dome on the mast. It's old Raytheon. Could they say it works? A little bit where they're Ooh, off the look at that. Hold that. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Tighten it up. So then we're gonna take the wires. Yeah. Teamwork. Teamwork? Yeah. Too lost, awesome, aren't they, say? But I say no. With this crew, we're in good shape. No one wants to. Nobody. That's why you hired a marine mechanic. Good job. And yeah. that's why the marine mechanic drinks at night. Let's grab those spreaders. So how you call this technique? Scrounging. This is oversized. This is bigger than my rigging. I'm booting the uh, spreader. All right, it's the tradition of the sea to use tape on these. It doesn't hold at all and it leaks every time. It's what my grandpappy did. Take a minute and walk around any marina. Hither and you are, and you'll see this. The old mariner's way. Supermass can get high much too. This is what it takes to put the boat in the water. This is a really complicated rig, too. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. And I'm right now, saving myself a whole bunch of zip ties. Mike, what do you want to do about padding that corner, maybe? They're worried it's going to beat up the uh, mast. So that's where it's going to hit the mast, like right around here. Why don't we pad the mast? Wouldn't that be easier? Well, we don't know if it's going to line up. Our scout Trevor's here. Thank God for that. How you doing? Right. You're pretty good. You got the pad on, and this might just work. Yeah, we got the wrong tool for the job, but these guys said they did it before about five years ago. And I said, you know what? Let's go for it. Dang, that thing goes high. It makes everybody a little nervous. There's no way to articulate that mast, but we're gonna swing it in anyway. All right, so should we go aboard and uh, yes. see if there's any hope for this old bucket? <laughs> bucket. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Come aboard! Thank you, Captain. Here she comes. Wow. He's gotta drive that forklift to turn us. He doesn't have much to work with, but boy, he's got a gentle touch. I don't wanna lose a finger and nobody else does too. Helen, we'll have a Mai Tai with you. She'll help you spend your hazard pay. There you go. <laughs> the one that started it all. It's not a crate, so you can't swing it. Just grab a bunch of guys and heave ho. Make sure you're not to put it too far out, mate. Can we get the pin in or not? Oh yeah, we're done. Was it one of your toughest boat launches? Uh, no. Great. Second toughest. Second toughest. We made the top three. Awesome. That'd be a good name for this boat. Awesome. Yeah. Turns out we're the third sailboat they've launched here and uh, we're floating pretty. Everything's looking good and uh, the sun is setting, so we're gonna be doing our rigging in the dark. All right, put the pin in. Super heavy duty. Oh, right here, I got it. Sorry. That's okay. It is, right? Yeah. right there. Perfect, I'll take that. All right, so now we got control of our boom. That's freaking beautiful. This boat is set up, man. Start pulling it back your way. And let's go. It's literally two-ply, it's like brand new. It's sick. E-perb works. E works. Wow, positive test on the E-perb. Okay, with that said, great job today, everybody. You guys are learning the lines. You got a lot of stuff rigged and you worked at night almost the entire time. And there's six of us sitting in this enclosed space Wait, and we, we have haven't five, killed anybody. Five. We're good to go. Five, five of us. Five, yeah. So Martin, you feeling? <laughs> and we're ready to deliver the boat tomorrow. Yeehaw! Meanwhile, back at the ranch. 
Tomorrow's another day. Let's grab us some grub, eat up some vittles, and get to bed early. People are wondering. They want to know. My friends are asking. And I'm gonna tell you about it. How I found the passion to the cooking. Before I became a full-time working actress, I worked in the best one of the wine bars actually it was the only wine bar I ever worked at and I learned from my good friend Tony how to make the best panini in the world yes that's me Tony and the Ramstein hanging out in Pani Vino and today I'm gonna share this with you I have my bacon press and I'm gonna preheat it to press perfect paninis I don't have much space on the boat so I had to think a little bit outside the box and I'm gonna leave you on the description box the link below I ordered it from Amazon so if you want to try the same way I do it you can try it out at home and let me know in comment section down below how good it really was here we have ciabatta mozzarella we have tomato and arugula what we need also is salt and extra virgin olive oil and big plate of charcuterie what we have in here is hot cappacollo hot calabrese in the middle we have pepper salami and most but not the least we have in here the prosciutto <laughs> The trick for the best panini in the world is to grill it twice, especially inside, because then the cheese, when it melts, is gonna be on the top of the crispy bread. I'm gonna press it down. Nice. Okay, both sides. I have served this sandwich thousands of times and. It is really one of the most delicious sandwiches I ever had, personally. This comes off. Let me check. You want it nice and crispy. The first ingredient is cheese. I'm gonna put it in between. Now I'm press it down. You're gonna hear the cheese sizzling. That's the first sign that your sandwich is gonna be ready. And now it's a crucial time. I'm going to open it up. Woohoo! And tomatoes go in. Salt. You put salt before you put the olive oil because then the tomatoes are gonna suck it in. A little bit of arugula, extra version olive oil, and then you're gonna put in the charcuterie of your own choice. Now you're gonna close it, cut it diagonally with style. Bon appetit! It's ready to eat. How is that possible? That's the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. Wow, thank you, Dad. Thank you, Helen. So, you like it the prosciutto? Hey, they like it the prosciutto. If you like it the prosciutto, you must try Calabrese. Let's go for another round. Buon appetito. Mm. I panini sono deliziosi. Stay tuned. We are going now to the scout to find the shallow spots in Twin River. We are here with Trevor. He knows the location and he's gonna lead us through the safe spots. You think it's gonna be fine or you think it's gonna be who knows? It's gonna be just fine. Excellent. It off. Our scout is Trevor. He's gonna help us make the shortcut between the channels. He knows the way, but we're going to scout it out with his sonar and lay it out on track we can all count on. And we got to get all the way around here, come back, 
to right here. It's a reef. It's a home to that bird. Fish and barnacles. We're trying to keep Martin's boat from doing that. You know, they say every journey begins with just one step. Well, this voyage begins with just one shoal. How's it going, guys? Hey, What's up? sandwich time. We've been underway for five minutes and everyone's already hungry. So Martin and I, he's got the best sandwiches in town. And if we can get past this one shoal where the two rivers meet. You know, we don't have a functional depth sounder on board, but Trevor, our guide, has got a good one. All right, this is the last pinch point, Shell Beach. We only got about eight feet. Make sure you don't go to the right of me. It's shallow over there. Beach comes all the way out into the channel. Watch our depth and stay right in the middle. We'll be on our way and make it to the other side on the same high tide. I kind of like this boat. Yeah, I could never afford a boat like this. Unless somebody was selling it for a song in a dance. At full throttle, Helen's got a steady on the course. I'm the king of the world! Trevor, man. Everything is ship shape shape. 3.1 knots going west. Not an iceberg in sight, matey. Even a short day passage on the sea is inspiring. And to see a mariner like our friend Trevor, and his expertise, you know he built that boat himself. Unbelievable. He can steer that boat with the tilt of his body. That's what we all want to be, at one with the sea. And the magic of that twilight time, when the sun starts to blend into the horizon and the wakes are our waves. Bye -bye. She's a beauty. Bye -bye. She handles really well. The shrimp boat's fast, so move over to the left a little bit. Copy that. And the magic of the moment is all we feel and all we know. The meaning of those minds and those great men in that great moment, it brings us all together as one. And the colors and the light and the motion of the ocean. And when the moon comes out and shows us that last light of day, we made it home. We wrapped the vessel 32 safely on our boat, but we need him a slip. So when our luck collided with an opportunity, we took it. Scrambly, scrambly. Now guess who's gonna hip toss to Peace Maria? <laughs> yes, you guessed right. It's her friend Bobby. But he told me, you know what, Helen? This time, you owe me a favor. All right, this is happening. Is there a, uh, a cleat right there? Here, I'll tell you what. Put it right there. That's a strong point if I ever saw one. There's a midship cleat right there, so. Okay, well then, so go around it and come back to my boat. Okay, and let me let me get it where I want it. Slack seven on the, the winch. Tweak the bow in a little bit, get oh. the stern out. Copy that. Fear nothing. Fear not. Over here. Wait, wait, wait. Has to go under. Okay, we are ready. Clear? Yeah. Clear of easy. I'm gonna send off. Then I'll kick that. Then I'll back that stern out. Okay, we're off. Yeah, we want a hurricane engine, so now we have one. Um, you're gonna need a spring line. Okay. On the uh, port side bow. Okay. When we come into the dock, I'm gonna shove you in there. If we can catch that pile in there, we'll be good. Uh oh. Yeah. We wanna lay on that pile. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, piling is very, very good. All right, so about four feet to the rocks. How yeah. many stop? About four feet. I got, I've got a spring line on. Am I good or do they want to come in more? You're going to come in more. I'm coming I'm in more. Keep, in. I'm going to keep a, a little forward throttle and let you set that spring line where, she, where you want it. Okay, sir. Okay, we're in. How do you like the looks of that, Captain? How's that look, Tom? Fine for right rocks. now. Fine for right now. Okay, we're on Springer. We're stopping. Okay, you're good? Yes, sir. Thank you. Go ahead. Why don't we wait until the wind's blowing 37 knots? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that'll make it more exciting. Six hours. I don't think they're going to go anywhere for it. Thanks, move. I'll throw it into the boat since it's wet. I got beer on my boat. Bye. Okay, Ted, we did it. Awesome. Mission accomplished. Martin's got a beautiful slip at Bees Marina thanks to Bobby. Can't beat that. Thanks, Bobby. You're a true mariner. God bless you, brother. What an adventure. I am now officially a professional rigger. We've got this boat safely in our new berth. See you next time on Sailing Liberty. Thanks for watching. If you like, comment. And please subscribe. We're a new channel. Every subscription counts. Thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you on the next show. Sailing Liberty. Arr, boy, arr. Charge you scallywags. Aye, aye, Captain. Like any great adventure, it begins with a girl and a sword. Before you know it, the tail twists into a t-shirt. Hey, click in the link below in the description box and get one of our shirts. Bye now and join the adventure.